Today we are back with a public works on the Goldcrest Valley map. Today we will be plowing the interstate and the town roads. We woke up this morning to over 6 inches of snow. There hasn't been much traffic and the roads need to be cleared. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2019 Chevy 1500. Once we get on the inside get it warmed up, we'll be turning four wheel drive on because we have to drive all the way over to the shop here in the snow. I'm excited to be back snow plowing in FS19. Today is a bit different since we are with the Public Works. I've gotten a lot of requests lately to do a Public Works video and I thought with all the cool mods from Wood Metal Farming that have been recently released this would be the perfect video to do. And it looks like we do have some traffic out on the roads. Hopefully they are going slow and kind of being careful since it's a lot of snow and more than likely it's icy underneath. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been great. I really do enjoy snow plowing here in Farming Cylinder. It's a lot of fun, very unique, and the Seasons mod uh, lets us uh, be able to do this. But here we go, guys. The two pieces of equipment we are using today. We'll be using the John Deere wheel loader with the big plow and the wing plow on the town roads. And then we'll be using the Western Star dump truck with this uh, front plow, the wing plow, and the tow plow on the interstate. So let's hop in this. Let's first clear that interstate uh, since a lot of people have to get up and go to work. And that's going to be the busiest area here in town. This is going to be a bit tricky, guys, since see the truck is pretty much going to be stranded here. We kind of have to plow ourselves out. Uh, it looks like nobody uh, has come to the shop yet. Once we put the uh, plow down, it's going to be a little bit easier. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So let's kind of see if we can get started here. Kind of unfolding all of these different things we need. There's lots and lots of things. There we go. And there's the car. So we'll let the car go by really quickly. And then we'll kind of get going here. This is a little tricky here, but once we kind of get all this up, we should be good to go. We are pushing a ton of snow here. Now we want to plow just on our two lanes of the interstate, and then we'll come back this way. And once we get this cleared, we'll be switching over. Now this is pretty cool. I will have to say, look at this. We got all of these strobe lights going on this truck. Now traffic will be kind of backed up, and that is just what's going to have to happen. This is so cool. It's pretty exciting that we are able to do this here in the game with all these mods. I'm averaging, I would say, just around 15 miles per hour. I don't really want to go too fast, and if we were to hit something, uh, breaking something would be a pretty big damage. I hope everyone's having a great school year so far. Let me know how it is down below. Mine's been a bit busy with schoolwork, a lot more schoolwork this year, but that's okay. I've been really enjoying all of my classes. Now when I do get snow here in real life, I will do some videos of shoveling and snow blowing. I actually have done videos like that in the past. Now it would be pretty cool to kind of get some videos inside of a plow truck for all of you. I think we'll kind of drop speeds just a little bit. We have the same one car right behind us. Hopefully, they kind of just uh, stay uh, pretty far back. You always want to stay back, especially since we could be dropping salt and things like that. Uh, but for now, I think we'll do a salt run later today. Yeah, once we get turned around, we should be good to go and won't have traffic right around us. I really do enjoy doing public work videos. I definitely want to get back into doing them. I did a lot back in 17, even 15, and I think those would be great videos to do again. 
Look at this. This truck is just pushing so much snow to the side of the road. We are pretty much clearing one and a half lanes almost. So we'll have one more truck come by. We'll have one of the other workers do it and just kind of push off the rest. Uh, probably with a plow and a wing plow. And I mean two, three passes either side and you're completely done. And the highway is cleaned out of all of this snow. And there's a ton of snow. Now turning around here will be a bit tricky, but we'll get turned around and hopefully we don't have too much cars kind of waiting on us. It was a bit tricky, but we got turned around here, and I really do like this up. This is just so cool. Now, I do have the hazard lights going, which is definitely uh, also an uh, added uh, thing that we do need. Let me know down below in the comments to all of you that do get snow in your area. What type of plow uh, plows your street? For me, I do have a lot of kind of small one-ton dump trucks along with a backhoe. And then we do have some big uh, town trucks like this kind of come by. So let me know down below kind of what you guys uh, do uh, for snow as well. This is just so cool. It's awesome to have very unique mods like this in the game. If you guys do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It really helps out the YouTube algorithms with uh, making this visible to a lot more users. And I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby, great passion of mine, and I really appreciate all of the support. This Western Star definitely has a lot of power. We do have a Cummins motor underneath with over 600 horsepower, and that is definitely uh, needed for all this. There is a ton of snow we are pushing, uh, as you guys can see, from uh, the uh, middle lane all the way to the edge of the road. It would have been nice to have a little bit of a longer a tow plow, but if we make it too long, I don't think it would probably function as good. And there's also so much uh, that this truck can do. And if we push the limit too much, we might not be able to push the snow. So once we get back here to the other side of the interstate, we'll switch uh, over to the front loader and we'll go plow all of those uh, roads. There are, I would say, uh, uh, 50 60 roads here there are a lot so that's pretty much it here for the reach of the interstate plows we'll kind of get switched over here kind of start to kind of fold some of these up it is a bit tricky with how these work let's see awesome we got that one and then the last one here is mouse controlled perfect now we do have to plow our lots that is something for another time we need to get all of these roads uh, plowed out and I think a few other people are coming in to work soon but here we go here's the John Deere 524 front loader really do like it we do have extra strobes on it which is definitely needed we'll put down the wing plow and let's kind of switch through we do need to lower that and perfect we got everything lowered and ready to go now I think front loaders are great for snow plowing. We have a ton of visibility and this has a ton of power and especially for town roads we could uh, push the snow kind of off the road but we should be able to do a lane and a half which is good so we'll have some kind of overlapping which is probably needed and let's get going here. This is just so, uh, so cool. You guys can see we were pushing the snow all the way back there uh, to the curb line which is what we need. Now this uh, front plow here, there we go, just needed to lower a little bit more. It was kind of skipping it in some areas. Now I will say this is a bit tricky. I can't really see the edge of the curb and I could just barely see it. So we'll have to be careful not to uh, scrape up the curves. But usually a lot, a lot of curves do get broken and have to be replaced in the springtime. I think what we'll do is try to focus on cleaning up one road at a time. So we'll go back and forth on that same road. That way we kind of get each one cleared. But we are making some pretty big snow piles. Hopefully everyone has enough uh, 
power in their snowblowers to kind of get those uh, roads cleared out. It's a good thing there's not too much uh, people out here on the roads. We saw a few people earlier, but really haven't uh, since. And that's helpful for us. That means that we don't have to worry about people kind of driving all around us. And we can just focus here on clearing these main roads. We'll get turned around here. Now, I really do like the Goldcrest Valley map. This is a conversion from uh, 17. And that's great to see. I, I, I like this map and definitely want to use it in more videos. Let's get over a little bit more so that the uh, plow doesn't really catch the curb. Perfect. Now I also have noticed the fast we do kind of plow, the further the snow kind of goes from us. So we don't want to plow too far and then have it kind of go way too far away that's not too realistic. But this John Deere has a ton of power. Yeah, that lane and a half really does help out that way. We don't have any little bit kind of falling off the edge there. These plows from Wood Metal Farming really do work pretty well. They are moving a ton of snow and we really haven't had any problems which is great to see. We'll push back the snow a little bit here as we make our way over to the other side. And you guys can see, once again, it is a little unrealistic how it kind of throws it far away, but I've noticed that with a lot of different plows. And how do we kind of break this off? I think that we could probably just go like this, and there we go. So we kind of have to get turned around here. We'll be a tricky, but I don't think we'll have a problem. Oh, yeah. We're just going to back up here, and a little bit of sliding around, but that's okay. We are making pretty good headway here. We should get the roads open soon. Now, usually towns have a ton of plow trucks. They usually hire extra plow trucks for the uh, snow season to help out to get them all cleared out very fast. We do have a lot of cool videos coming to the channel this year, which is pretty exciting. We are back with GTA 5, and I will be featuring probably one or two every week for all of you guys. So that's something to look forward to, along with uh, some new uh, videos uh, coming out with all the new series, and we will probably uh, feature some new series as well. So let's kind of continue. We'll push the snow back a little bit more, and we'll go on to the next road. I think that this is a pretty good kind of layout we are doing. We'll just push a little bit more there. And let's back up. Wow, a ton, a ton of snow. Let me know down below in the comments, would you like me to do more public work videos? I really do appreciate all of your feedback and recommendations. And I will have to say it's a lot of fun uh, to respond to all of you guys in the comments. It takes a lot of time, but it's something I really do enjoy doing. I think we'll finish up here with this road and we'll call it a day. It's been a long day here for us. A lot longer is what it's going to have to be to really finish this up, which is no problem. And uh, two, three more hours and we should be good to go. Now I think some multiplayer plowing videos would be pretty cool. Having some extra crews help out with parking lots and different things like that would be awesome. Perfect. And we turn around here.
We haven't really had any problems here using this to push a lot of snow, which is a good thing. And this is a little tricky trying to make sure that we do not kind of overlap there. But I think that's pretty much it here for today. There's a lot more, which I will continue to do here off camera. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more. Thank you.